Warning. Contamination detected. Lockdown is in effect. Please wait until the contamination is removed. Are you listening to me, Doc? Hmm? Sorry, I might have missed something. Can we finish tomorrow morning? Um, okay, I guess. I've not been sleeping well lately, and you're my eighth patient today. I understand. I guess you must have some reasons to be tired. Uh, yeah. Surprise, surprise. Door won't work, just like the therapy. Let me see. Damn it. Let's hope at least my PDA still works. Yes? Yes, Dr. Tokai here, but... You're a shrink, aren't you? Do you have a minute? Now's not a good... It's not that I didn't try. It took some time to make up my mind. But it sure felt great to do something about it at last. It felt just like a birthday. You're not saying anything. What's on your mind? I'm usually the one to ask this question. You sound tired, Doc. Go back to sleep. Who the hell was that? Sounded like a real nut job. Where did she... How? I'd like to tell him a thing or two. Attention, tram number seven, connecting the main atrium of the residential sectors E and F is 
arriving at platform number two. I need a little pick-me-up. Hi, Albert. Kick it. That usually works. Well, not today, apparently. Looks like it's the bar for us. Come on. What's going on, man? No offense, but you look like shit. Rough night, huh? Well, I think my dream job's getting to me, finally. Believe me, I know what you mean. I feel like this cog in the machine, you know? It makes sense when you look at it. Helps maintain order. Yet, people are depressed. I think the colonel planned it all wrong. But you're the shrink. You know all this. We're all that's left of humanity, and a bunch of malcontents at that. It doesn't bode well for the new civilization. Anyway, what's up? <laughs> are you forcing small talk? Right. Nice weather we've been having lately, don't you think? Ha, <laughs> true. But that plutonium rain this morning ruined my barbecue plans. Man, I hate this place. Yeah, me too. If it weren't for Carolina... Um, yeah. How's the situation, anyway? I'm not avoiding it like other people, so I can't remember. Ah, uh, don't let it get to you. It's the price of being a shrink. I'm collecting people's thoughts from the Colonel. No wonder they're avoiding it. Anyway, thanks for the advice about the vending machine. For a minute there, I feel genuinely relieved. I guess I should use that in my therapy. Stress relief through violence. <laughs> Sounds pretty catchy, don't you think? Attention! Albert Tokai is to be detained immediately for crimes against what the, the Republic. Uh, I'll explain later. It's bullshit. Maybe so, Dr. Tokai, but it won't be Mr. Gotler you'll be explaining to. Please do not resist. Everyone is to stay in their rooms or recreational areas until further notice. Stop him! What are you doing here? Freeze! This area is closed until further notice. 
No, I haven't seen him. And I have no idea where he is. Why are you looking for him? What has he done? That is none of your business, madam. There he is! Get him! <laughs> Personnel are conducting a search for Torkai. off this time the whole area is crawling with guards all looking for you Carolina is she safe as far as I know yes they've locked her in her room but it's you there after you have to hide and wait this out go to the tech area behind my cubby hole I'll try to find out what the story is don't worry about her they've turned the power off but I've got my own generator I didn't have time to change the fuse though you wouldn't mind doing me a favor would you but don't worry I'll try to restore the main power supply it may take some time though I hope you're not afraid of the dark. There's no monsters there. It's a complete mess in here. I don't watch my step. Albert Toka, 34 years old. Albert Toka, 34. Psychiatrist. Albert Toka, pharmacologist. Albert Toka, born the 13th of May, 1999. Albert Toka.
Sacrifices are to be made. Only then can a nation begin anew. And one of those to be sacrificed has just arrived. Welcome, Mr. Tokai. <sighs> Bring him to me. Huh? You're not really listening, are you? Damn. Why do I even come here if you're not paying attention? Screw this. I'm sorry, I... Whatever. See you later, Dr. Dozy. We'll finish it tomorrow. Yeah, I know, I know. I haven't been sleeping well lately. Sometimes I don't sleep at all. And when I finally manage to fall asleep, it happens at the worst possible moment. That in itself wouldn't be such a problem, but my dreams are ridiculous. They're convincing. So convincing that I forget I'm dreaming. When I wake up, images remain vivid, and I'm constantly accompanied by an irritating sense of deja vu. My REM sleep is usually inhabited by restless patients, and now the dead neighbor joined the party. I need to slow down and get some real sleep. Attention, tram number seven, connecting the main atrium with residential sectors D, E, and F is arriving at platform number two. Yeah, Al, I've been looking for you. What is it? The Colonel demands your presence in the conference room. Demands? Why not request? You know the drill. And I thought that today couldn't get any better. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm your friend, remember? I don't seem to have too many of those these days. Jeez, wouldn't mind eating something first. Anyway, thanks. Have you ever seen the area down below? First things first, the old prick will have to win. Not like he has a choice if it's that important. I heard they want you to improve something here. Yeah? Oh, hey, Arek. Sorry, man, but I'm in quite a hurry right now. What's going on? Well, there's a problem I have to fix on the lower level. Apparently, it's a big deal, so excuse me. Take care, Albert. Right. You too. Friday, November 9th, 2035. Main day... Carolina. Oh, there you are. I thought you'd never come. Sorry, uh, I, I had to finish a session, but it didn't go that well. An aggressive patient? This time a sleepy doctor. <laughs> nice job, Doc. Well, let's not talk about it. It's hard to make an impression as a good psychiatrist if you're constantly falling asleep during sessions. I'm just so tired. And now I've been called into the conference room. The Colonel's probably gonna send me on a suicide mission, though I think he would be content just using my head as a dartboard. But seriously, everyone's in one hell of a rush today. Yes, I noticed. 
Maybe it has something to do with this meeting. Maybe, but I don't really care. How's your day at work? Don't change the subject. It might be something really important. More important than us? You know what I mean, Albert. I'm sorry. If only agreeing with you didn't mean meeting with this old prick. Don't call him that. It can get you into trouble. Okay, you're right. As usual. Dr. Tokai, the Colonel ordered me to escort you to the conference room, in case you had different plans. Like they ever matter. Did the pills help Private Grotsky? Maybe they would. But at a party, Kornat stole them from my locker, thinking they're candies, and fell into a coma. At least I know they work. Anyway, let's not keep the Colonel waiting. Cometh the chosen one. A minute longer and we'd have to send a rescue party for you. Not everyone's a clockwork soldier, gentlemen. The colonel's on the line, Doc. You know what your problem is, Mr. Tokai? You're not even trying to be respectful. I have to wait for you every single time. You disrupt the entire administrative process. There is a problem, Mr. Tokai. On the second sub-level. I'm guessing it's not a technical issue. Rather a behavioral problem. People are acting strange. It is probably just a leak in the ventilation system. Some kind of chemical contamination. The quarantine procedure sealed all of the laboratory doors, trapping scientists inside. And? And you as our prominent psychiatrist and pharmacologist. We'll go there with the security guards, find the cause, and neutralize it. It is your duty, Mr. Tokai. But I think that is your second problem, Mr. Tokai. You think too much. You have your orders, Mr. Tokai. Dismissed. Yes, sir. down again. I can see on the cameras that something's not right in the reception area, but we can contact them. We're going to check it out with Adam. You know where to find us in case of any problems. Miller, grab your gun. We're going for a walk. Yankovsky out.
Take this tranquilizer gun, Doctor. We don't know the exact nature of these behavioral problems. Gee, thanks. That will certainly solve all of them. <sighs> there should be a hangar behind it. yourself a solo recon mission. Go to the reception and contact the HQ. Looks like security channels are down. Are you crazy? I'm not going anywhere. Why don't we just go back and contact in the traditional way? And give the Colonel another reason to complain how useless we are? Do as I say. You know that I have to write a report? Son of a bitch. 